As we celebrate the end of Ramadan, we are aware that this year's celebration has been a little different from the previous ones. The pomp and religious activities that have always been part of the culture and tradition in observing Ramadan has been restricted. Today's celebrations are devoid of fanfare, fellowship, and ceremonial visits characteristic of Eid al-Fitr. But this is not unique to us here in Kenya. Similar scenario is being observed in most parts of the world, and understandably so. Who would have thought that the two holy mosques in Mecca and Medina would also be closed during this period, but they have been closed. The presence of coronavirus has necessitated a rollout of interventions and responses to combat it. Some of these responses have indeed been inconveniencing and even disrupting aspects of human interaction. As a country, our response included cessation of movement in and out of the counties of Nairobi, Mombasa, Kwale, Kilifi, and Mandera. Additional measures included restriction of movement in and out of the localities of Isli in Nairobi and Old Town in Mombasa. We understand that these measures have made life uncomfortable for our people. I want to state that the restrictions are not punitive and are not directed at any particular community. The restrictions and measures have been advocated for in the interest of public good and to contain the spread of the infection. Other countries that have effectively managed to contain the virus have imposed the same and perhaps even tougher ones.